Hi, we're back. This is part two. Part two. Peace. Okay, part two of Hilari Chronicles and Try Treats. Let's see. So if you weren't with us before, we had already opened up this box and we were um, trying out some of the treats. So we're just finishing up our, our tryout, the second half of the box. So next. From Indonesia. From Bali, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's been interesting thus far. So definitely... Pay attention in the um, description bar. I'm going to put the link to the part one. If you have not seen it, go see that first and then come back and see this video, okay? All right, part two. We're going to start with chocolate wafer bites. Okay, the wafer bites are wafer bites. It's wafer bites by Dolcetta. Wafer bites by Dolcetta are bite-sized chocolate-filled wafers made with all-natural ingredients. They are crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside. For something different, put them in the freezer and enjoy them as a frozen treat. Oh, you can put those in the freezer, baby. They only gave us one of those? What? Look at this. Okay, interesting. You eat it first this time. I can't ever go by your expression, though. Why is it crispy and crunchy? You didn't read the description very well, huh? Oh, it's good. Mmm. Give me another one, though. Those are pretty good. I would probably like this frozen. Mm-hmm. They're really good. They kind of leave an aftertaste, though. Yeah. It's an aftertaste. So it's crunchy. On the outside, it's like a light wafer kind of crunch and then on the inside it's like a melted kind of moussey chocolate mm -hmm. it's real good it's good it just i would prefer this frozen it would mm -hmm. be really good though really really good that's a real good one mm -hmm. okay put those to the side put it on the good pile right because we were quite a stack for the other one okay what is that the chocolate thins chocolate thins that's what it's called no baby what's the name of it what is it called? Chocolate Thins. Oh, Mandy's Chocolate Cookie Thins by Mandy. Mandy's Cookie Thins are cookie thins made from real cocoa. Rich in taste and crunchy in texture, these cookie thins are perfectly complemented with coffee, hot cocoa, or ice cream. Mm, let's see what we're working with here. Mm. How are they broken? <laughs> Broken cookies. Well, we don't... They, they, those things, they got damage in, in when they ship them or something. What? Is, look, it's got a, a a shiny top. You don't even show the people I like this. what it looked like. I like it. Here. It's got sugar on top. See it? Okay. That has an aftertaste too, though. Oh, I don't like the aftertaste. You taste the aftertaste? Mm hmm I can't tell the way you chomping down on it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't give me you ain't give yourself time to taste an aftertaste. <laughs> I like it. Oh but oh wait till the night when you had to get up and and, and go do the number two. I I'm not like coach like that. So, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Back in her mind. She's off a rocker right now. Whatever. <laughs> that one's me. Whatever. What's the next one? Let's try this and get this over with because I don't like nuts. What is that? Oh, that's probably going to be good. It says Silver Queen. So that is going to be Cashew Milk Chocolate by Silver Queen. Cashew Milk Chocolate by Silver Queen is one of the most popular chocolate bars in Indonesia. They are made with flakes of cashews that are perfectly balanced with the taste of chocolate. Play you got all cool. the faster than that, baby. Now, look. You should open it. I should probably read in. That's critical. It ain't the easiest of opening uh, stuff. It's a silver fool. I mean, no, that's gold. gold right. Fool, yo. You don't know what it is. I think I'm going to like this. I love. Oh, yeah. It tastes like a Mr. Good Bar. My mama like Mr. Goodbye. It tastes just like a Mr. Goodbye. Mmm. That is good. 
I'm going to eat that later. I'm not really a candy candy eater. But, but like, when, when I do eat candy, it's dozy keys. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I like the chocolate. I don't like the nuts. I've never liked nuts. I don't like nuts at all in any form, by the way. So, it's good. I'm just eating around the chocolate. I mean, eating around the nuts. I'm just eating the chocolate. A good nut is good. Not these kind. But anyway, all right, honey, we what? gotta move on. Okay, go ahead. What you gonna pick up? Mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. What is that? Oh, that's a big bag of something. That is strawberry candy. Oh, some strawberry candy. Ah, I can't find it. Why can't you? Oh, it's a milkshake candy. <laughs> Could you never tell me the name of it? It says nothing about strawberry on the top of it. It says milkshake candy by Makita. Milkshake candy by Makita are creamy, light, and refreshing candies made from real milk. Initially hard in texture, they soften up once you begin to chew on them. Because they're made from real milk, they are also a great source of calcium. So, they're kind of healthy for you, I guess. Just show them the packaging on it. Little bite size. Oh, they look good. You see that? Mmm. Tastes like a strawberry milkshake. That's really good. Mmm. It's really good. I don't like the way the candy stick to my teeth. But it's really good. You like it? Tastes like a strawberry milkshake. I don't like strawberry candy. Why do you even say that? Because I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay. I do not like strawberry candy though. I can't stand strawberry candy. I need some water after that. that was I'm still chewing on this thing. My jaw's getting down. In the last treat, we have on um, potato chips by Taro Net. Potato chips by Taranet are potato chips that come in the shape of a neck. <laughs> a favorite in Indonesia, these chips are crunchy in texture, savory in taste, and addictingly delicious. So I guess it would be equivalent to our Lay's. Or Waffle Lay's or something. Because they say they're addicting. And you know what Lay's, they say no one can eat this one. We're about to see what we're working with here. Yeah, everything is packaged up nicely. No one can ever go in their store and just rip open something. They're small. Small little net. Reminds me of a Chex. I know. It does look like a Chex. Mm -hmm. How in the heck are these things addicting? Let me taste a couple more. I got to get two at one time. I know what these taste like. Have you ever had this chip called Munchos? Yeah. It's in a red bag. Yeah. This is what this tastes like, Muncho. One thing I realized is that the treats from Indonesia all leave an aftertaste. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but our favorites, for me, I like these. The strawberry candy. We both like. I was gonna say for me, my favorite is definitely those, these by far. But my, my favorite, favorite is this. My favorite is that candy bar. It tastes like the Mr. Good bar. What else did we like? That was about it, to be honest with you. You like those cookie things? What cookie? Candy? The chocolate cookie things would look like it got sugar on top. Not, not that. Much. Oh, the other one. You talking about the other one? Let me get you the other one. Um, I like these too. These, yeah, those are really good. I like those, and, and she liked those. Yeah, I don't I like too these. much care for those. So, there you have it our treats from Indonesia. I want to give a shout out to Denise. Oh, Denise and Sean, yes, and Sean got your shirt on. We have a shirt on that, um, it says Love Doesn't Hurt, it's for domestic violence awareness. So, just know that anytime that you're in love with someone. 
Um, love doesn't hurt. And that doesn't just mean physically. Love doesn't hurt mentally. Love doesn't hurt spiritually. Spiritually, you shouldn't be, you know, shot down for going to church. You know, if you have a partner, it's okay if your partner doesn't want to go to church sometimes. That's okay. But if they're, you know, demeaning or giving you nasty comments about going to church or that church or anything like that, that's abuse. It's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. Anytime that you're being emotionally abused where, you know, you feel like it's causing you to question whether you're beautiful or anything like that, that that's abuse. And, and you shouldn't have to tolerate that because love doesn't hurt that way. Love also doesn't hurt physically, God. No, I'm kidding. Actually, it doesn't. But she didn't do that. No. <laughs> she didn't do that. Everybody that knows me know I'm harmless. She didn't do that. I slipped and fell. She's the violent one. And I broke my leg. She's the violent one. I broke my leg in two different places. She broke her leg in two different places trying to put so, her foot up my... No, no. That's not what happened. I slipped and fell. <laughs> <laughs> I slipped and fell as I was going to the car. When I came back in and I slipped and fell. I broke my leg in two places. So just a crazy accident. But needless to say, back to the point, love doesn't hurt. You know, we're joking around, but seriously, love, it should never be a physical pain. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go through things, but it shouldn't be to the point where it costs you to question love. It shouldn't be to the point where it costs you to question life. It shouldn't be to the point where it costs you to question your your existence or or who you are, or, um, you know, just if you're pretty or if you're doing the right thing in the relationship with God, like it shouldn't cause you to question those things. And if it does, if it causes you that kind of pain, that's not love. It shouldn't hurt your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Your self-esteem should not be lowered. In any relationship, your self-esteem should be raised. Your partner should compliment you to the so much to the point where you feel like that you are invincible together. Ain't that right, baby? Yes. <laughs> so we dedicate this episode to the Shy Foundation. Sean and Denise, shout out to you all. We're always thinking about you all. We're always praying for you all. And yeah. this has been another episode of Hilari Chronicles. We're out. We'll definitely Peace. do another video um, for domestic violence throughout our channel. It'll be a constant topic. So this is not the only time. This is just the first feature that you'll hear about domestic violence. So um, stay tuned. Look out for our next few episodes. All right, guys. Peace. Peace.